Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 4th of January 2021. It's going to be two cards per day every day of this week. So, Monday, the 4th of Jan, Aquarius, Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Wednesday, the Moon, Thursday, the Tower. The Hangman Friday, Saturday, Ace of Wands, Sunday, Page of Swords. Your influencing energy is Two of Wands. It is something that you have on your mind, all right? You've got complete project done in here. You, you didn't go forward with it, not yet. You haven't made decision. So far, you are just sitting with these ideas about what it could be. You are still contemplating, thinking it with excitement, all right, with enthusiasm, but decision is not there yet. Eight of Wands, Monday with Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Tuesday with the Lovers, the Moon, Wednesday with Three of Cups, the Tower, Thursday with Eight of Pentacles, the hung man with nine of swords, ace of wands with king of pentacles on Saturday, and Sunday page of swords with seven of cups, the wheel of fortune. Uh, you might actually decide to change, to, uh, you might actually make a decision very soon, very soon, very soon. Like that is, moment has come for you to make decision to move towards your goals, towards that what was just an, an idea, just uh, uh, wishful thinking, dreaming about future, big future for yourself, prosperous future, perhaps it's time for you to move on on it. Eight of Wands with Ace of Cups. Now, that is some intense communication. If you did make decision, if you changed your mind, you pushed your luck, it's working for you because this Eight of Wands says everything is in the air and it's a lot of communications, lots of ideas flying around. You sending messages, emails, receiving telephone calls. Things are happening. It is in your environment. Things are happening heavily, intensely, and it is important for you. It will eventually bring one conclusion. It will bring one single idea that will be as I said, again, very important for you. But on this day, you are still around, concluding, negotiating, discussing, talking, communicating. Ace of Cups, you've got um, trust that, that what you do right now will be very prosperous, will make you happy. All right, very intense Monday. And you trust that process, you trust that it will be successful conclusion end of the day for you. Now, Four of Pentacles with Lovers. The lovers is your choice. Make your choice. Do something for yourself. Two options, opportunities there for you. Choose one. Go one way or another. It is kind of karmic moment with the lovers. This isn't day-to-day -day options that appear on Tuesday. That what you are deciding on Tuesday, it's important for you, for your life. It will reflect long-term in your life. Now, Four of Pentacles is your security. Perhaps, perhaps you, you might not even manage to make decision on this day about that opportunities that you have, about these options that you have in your right now in your life. Perhaps that is safety and security is still keeping you in one place. So whatever options, whatever opportunity that comes your way, you you kind of you are afraid even to move because you do pay, you do have enough money to pay your bills. You are good enough with the Four of Pentacles, you feel good enough. And there's fear, if you open your hands, you might lose that what you have. Even though these opportunities, these options are really good. And I think no matter how, how tight you keep yourself in one place, in that safe and secure place, you will eventually move on. This is karmic moment, and I think you're aware of it. You're aware of it. You are just, just maybe, just need some time to make yourself certain, to make yourself sure, to make yourself safe. And you will move on. You will make your choice. You will decide which way you will go. It, it will change your life, definitely, but not on this day. On this day, you just, you're just fearing for your security, for your safety. 
Wednesday with the Three of Cups and the Moon, the Three of Cups, you it's, it's your happiness. Somehow you are happy with yourself. But the Moon says something is there which is not clear, not sure yet. I mean, whatever that you are celebrating on this day, there is uncertainty in your environment. It's not certain. You think that is success, but maybe not. It will be known a bit later and it could appear that it's not something that you're supposed to celebrate. With the moon energy, it can go either ways, but it's definitely something that you cannot recognize what it exactly is, that what you see, that what you are up to seems happy, seems good, seems success, but then, you know, it can appear that it's something else. It's a still a long road. You still do not know all the facts. You don't know all details. You still cannot make decision. It doesn't matter what it seems to you. It can appear later that is something very unfortunate. Even it seems just fine on this day. That's your Wednesday. So it says caution on this day because now tower a moment on Thursday. That uh, that belief takes you nowhere. These people, this relationship, it breaks down. And it breaks down in a shocking way, in a sudden way, you know, unexpected way. It, it seems very misfortunate, right? On this day, on Thursday, it can affect other people too. It's your environment. Bear in mind, it's a lot of people affected, not just you. It's a big structure, something that lasted for a while. And on this day, it's breaking down, affects you and other people too in a very shocking way. But what you know, what you can trust, it's your skill, it's your knowledge. You know, that's what is your profession. That's how you make your money. You know, that is only thing that you can trust. Whatever can break down this business, this partnership, this relationship, but what you know, you know. If you are engineer, you're engineer. If you're lawyer, you're lawyer. You know, whatever that you know how to, you know how to, nobody can take that away from you. That is certainty on this day. Everything can crumble, everything can break down, but that stays. That's your confidence, that's what you rely on. That's your starting point for to build another, another castle, to build another life. It doesn't matter as long as you have your skill and your knowledge. But now with the hangman is time factor, you know, you have to wait for, I don't know, something to happen in your life, for you to understand something, for you to have some more experience with whatever with this skill, with the with people, I don't know. But there is waiting period. Hang in there. There where you are, you have to stay until you get more knowledge, until you have more experience, until you met more people. Unless all these facts now are put together or these puzzles are put together, you are unable to move on. You are unable to see the whole picture. So you are waiting for all the things, all small things to come together so you will have your full picture, you will have your knowledge and then you can move on. It's your nightmare. It's your night. That's that moment. Hang in there, you know, for, time, for the time being. Don't move. That is your nightmare. Everything you can take but being in one place for a prolonged period of time, not knowing what is going to happen, that's terrible. And I think this Friday will be a um, really unpleasant day for you. You're not going to like this Friday, definitely. But Saturday is better, all right? There is new idea that comes your way. There is new opportunity that comes your way. And look at this. King of Pentacles is within you. Whether that you think about somebody who's business person and you can come with this idea to present it to another or somebody who is in the business, some big director, somebody who is is business mind, who is making money on its own, coming towards you with this idea, come and join me in this business, let's do it together. Or it just gives you idea how to make money. Maybe you have in, in your mind how other people are doing. There is this king of pentacles down there and he is with this, make, with this idea. He is making big money. So you are coming to that conclusion. You can do the same. You can do the same as that king of pentacles. Could be just that you feel like that. You feel like a business person and you are troubleshooting. You are brainstorming and you're coming up with this idea. That's my idea. That's my opportunity. I will do that. That will be my business. I'm not going to stay in one place forever. You see what I'm saying? Determination. This is very determined business person. Lovely idea. 
you are very passionate about this idea on Saturday. Whether that is yours, you know, coming from you or it's coming from another one, whatever it is. Newness, new idea, new opportunity and related to something that is business, money making. And that subject, that aspect of your life on these days is the most important for you. Saturday. Now, we have a page of swords with seven of cups. Now, Sunday Sunday says you are changing your mind. That is news, that is perhaps this ace of wands. That idea comes to your mind as, uh, as something that will change your mind, change your approach to your life, changes you in a way. Because page of swords is something that you learn and, you know, uh, uh, allow you to change your mind, to see um, things from a different perspective. But now this is very optimistic one. With the Seven of, of Cups, it says you will be much more optimistic now on this day. You know, that, that situation is changing. I think that Ace of Cups, it was on Monday, I think appears again on Sunday. You, you did have idea about how to move forward. You did have vision for yourself, all right, just before this week. And then something got complicated, you know. These things got complicated from Tuesday on. Maybe it's just that you were slow to react, all right, with this Four of Pentacles. On Tuesday, maybe you're just slow reaction, slow to make decision, in, unable to make decision. And from there, things were kind of, kind of misfortunate for you. But then from Saturday, from Saturday, get back to yourself, steady self. Business mind with new ideas, okay? Your steady self. And now Sunday brings change of mind, change of attitude, new, uh, new wave of optimism. Now again, you are seeing your bright future, your happy future, your opportunities, many options in front of you. Plenty to choose from. Seven of Cups is in your mind. That's your imagination. That's that's fiction. All right. But it's good to have when things are happening in a in a such unfortunate way. It's good to have it end of the day because it means you've got finally that idea for yourself which, which brings optimism. Your thoughts are now happier. You see your life, beautiful life. This Seven of Cups, that's that's down there, this person is watching into it. That big world, that big opportunity, it's almost equal with this Seven of Cups. In your mind, fantasizing, but being optimistic, being happy to meet your future. So enjoy Aquarius.